turn, 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 turn. Or, let's see. My mother had a shop in a big building where there were a lot of shops up on the second floor. In fact, we lived in the shop. We didn't have any money. And my mother made lingerie and sold it. That was our income. But in this building, there was a big room at the very end. And all of a sudden, I heard these wonderful sounds coming out. And I walked down the hall, and I'm listening at the door. And I didn't know it at the time, but it was tap dancing. And they had these rhythms, bam, you know, it just, wow, that was exciting. What are they doing in there? Well, the door was slightly ajar one day, because I'd hung out outside the door just to hear it. And I saw the man sitting in behind a desk. And I went in and I said, I've been listening. And he said, I know. <laughs> you could see me. And I said, I'd like to learn how to do that. And he said, well, it will cost you some money. Do you have any money? I said, no, I don't. He said, well, I'm sorry. This is a business, you know. Well, I guess I hung out so much. He finally said, brush the right foot forward and brush it back and then put it down. So I went, brush, brush, put it down. And he had me do it several times to get faster and faster. And now the other foot, oh, the other foot. But that's the way I started learning how to tap dance. His name was Ted Arkin. Nobody ever knew him, but I never forgot his name. Then he started teaching some little kids tap dancing, and I took over the class, and I taught for him. Well, I never paid him. He never paid me, so we had the what they call here the barter system. But that's the way I learned how to tap dance. When I went to New York, I moved to New York with my family. My father got a job in New York. There was one man that, to me, was my favorite teacher, Ernest Carlos. He was teaching all these teeny, teeny little bitty steps. And instead of da di da da di da it was da 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 And so I, like, started all over again. I would read the paper. Every night, my father would bring the paper home. I'd be looking for the spot where it would say, dancers wanted. And I'd read that. Where do they want? They're going to do a new show, and they're, you know, they're auditioning dancers. So I would go, and I got the same thing every time. You're too young. Come back when you grow up. The first time I got a job, I, I couldn't believe it. You know, They said, yes. Whew. That was so exciting. Now I was in the chorus of a Broadway show, and Sing Out the News was the name of the first show. It was a Harold Rome show. Each time you do another show, you learn from another choreographer. You learn different music. You know, your world is expanding all the time. And in those days, I must tell you what we made. We made $35 a week in a Broadway show. I made $5 extra for being an understudy to one of the principals. I made $5 extra for being captain of the line. That meant I was in charge. Once it was set, then the choreographer would leave. And then if somebody got sick, I would have to fix it or teach a new person that came in the choreography. So I was always working at it, you know. When I first came out, my husband then was in the show called This is the Army, and they were going to start rehearsing right away. So he went off to rehearsal, and I went off to Hollywood and Vine because I wanted to see movie stars. So I'm standing on Hollywood and Vine looking, and I don't see any. But I hear somebody say my name, and I turned around, and it was a dancer that I had worked with in New York. And he said, what are you doing here? And I said, well, I'm looking for movie stars. And he said, well, you're not going to find them here. <laughs> but he said, I'm under contract to Paramount Studios. 
why don't you come and have lunch tomorrow at the studio and I'll take you to lunch and you'll see movie stars because they all go eat in the commissary. I just couldn't get over all the stars that were there. And as I was going to leave, I heard somebody say my name again. I looked and it was a man that had produced a show in New York that I was in, Buddy De Silva. He was now the president of Paramount Studio. And he said, do you want to go to work? I said, sure. <laughs> and he told my friend to take me up to the business affairs office in about an hour, and he would call them. So in about an hour, we went up, and there was a contract there. Now, this is the first day I was in California. This all happened. And it's like a, a chain reaction. Once you do one movie, you meet a lot of people. And if you're simpatico, <laughs> Well, you, you get to go to a lot of them. And I did a lot of movies, more than I can count. It seems that tap attracted a lot of the black dancers. And they really, I think, I think they put tap on the map outside of like Fred Astaire and uh, Eleanor Powell. They were the good tappers. And then there were several others that were in movies, but they were the big ones. But in New York and around the country, I think, I think black tap dancers really did the most for tap dancing. And my background had been in more ballet, so I wasn't dancing, well, they call it as black, because they were down into the floor where we were more up dancers, like Eleanor Powell, she was. She had a background of ballet. And so there's all kinds of tap. But finally, you, you get a little bit of this, a little bit of that, a little bit of that, and put it all together and hope you have a style of your own, you know? Maybe it isn't luck. Maybe it's because we've wanted it so much and worked so hard that it keeps coming. I think what you put out there comes back to you. I really do. I, I've watched it, as a matter of fact, with people I know, the ones who've really been successful, have really worked hard, and if some of them slough it off, they don't really make it really big, you know, or they don't last. Uh, you have to really want it and really work at it and believe it and believe that you can get it. I think that's important, believing that you can get it.